We're going to Fashion Week. decided that I am going to fashion week yes. so I was undecided for a long time whether or not I wanted to go to February fashion week and at the last minute I said yeah I kind of want to go and then I got a few invites so we're going and now because I didn't prepare anything for fashion week we're going to be shopping our closet we're going to be wearing pieces that I recently bought and some pieces that I've had for a little bit. So this should be fun. <laughs> On day two of Fashion Week, I had two events. My first event was the Hillary McMillan pop-up and gifting. And then I also had a size inclusivity panel with Elle magazine. So first up was Hillary McMillan. They did a pop-up shop down in Soho, and I was invited to check it out as well as receive a gift. Now, Hillary McMillan is a Canadian-based uh, size inclusive brand they go up to a size 4x 26 uh, sometimes a 28 now they specialize in outerwear specifically these fabulous trench coats so I came down to check out the pop-up and to try some of the jackets on I will have her information and website linked in the description box in it mm -hmm. and it kind of reads more like you would see like a typical trench coat oh, in terms nice. of like the fabrication of it and then we wanted to add kind of like a fun like a bit, a bit of a bell sleeve. Okay. A little bit of detail, and then everything else is kind of like our typical trench okay. fit, double breasted, nice. and um, with the tie. Okay. Yeah, and then over here is our other plaid. Oh, it's so this one's gorgeous. a little funkier too. Mm -hmm. So it's like all these like hints of lime green. And mm -hmm. um, we've named each trench coat as well. So this is the Eliza. Oh, okay. So they all nice. have their own little names on them. Oh, nice. And then the, the plaid ones are definitely like a lighter. A lighter fabrication like the fabric's a bit lighter mm -hmm. um, it kind of feels like a really light like textured cotton almost okay and then this is definitely our like funkiest oh yeah that's different cool. trench it's more kind of like indicative of a raincoat right <laughs> um, we did it in two colors we did it in this blue and there's also a green back there okay um, and this is a fully removable dicky so we added this like zip up mm -hmm. kind of hooded detail but you can take it off and then wear it just as a trench coat too okay nice. so if you like wanted the coverage it was raining or whatever then we get to kind of another plaid, but a little bit more. This is what I saw on Dia. <laughs> so it gets a bit thicker. So this is definitely like our thicker fleece. This is more oh, of a winter okay. coat. It's a bit different of a fabrication. Mm -hmm. And then we added the two-tone with the cotton topper. Nice. Yeah. 
This has a little bit more of a funkier oh, one. Oh, nice, yeah. So we built this kind of like shawl collar into this, um, into this trench look. So this is not removable. It's all just kind of built into the coat. Okay. And the back kind of goes into a V. Oh, that's like that. cool. Yeah, so it's kind of like a shawl with a coat together. Yeah, that's cool. And then the fabric again is this cotton fabric and it is mm -hmm. a bit more of a sheen as well. Sheen, right. Yeah. So almost like a good um, like rain weather coat yeah. as well because yeah. of the fabric, right? Okay. And then what I'm calling the new neutral <laughs> That's is right. our snake skin. Thanks. I'm a leopard print girl. Are you? Yes, okay. okay. See, like, I, feel like, right. I feel like animal print is yes, animal the new, print is, yes. is the new kind of neutral. Um, so this is kind of, uh, it's a bit of a lighter weight vegan leather. So mm -hmm. like the other ones were our thicker ones and this is a bit of our lighter weight one. Okay. And it has a bit of sheen to it as well, but it's kind of like a classic snake. Yeah, that's snake nice. Snake texture, snake print. Looks. Yeah. Thanks. That's great. And so we found that like because of the whites on top, it kind of like brightens up your face. And okay. Then, like, the black kind of like is sleeker on the bottom. Oh but it's like gosh. a great kind of little. It's like a basic of being a little bit more. It's there, you know? right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, again, I feel like that's a New York vibe too. Like it's chic and. Kind of almost like it gives a street style vibe yeah. to me, you yeah. know. <laughs> Are you from New York? Yep, Brooklyn. Yep. Born and raised. Born and raised. Oh wow! Yeah, I feel like you're a dying breed. Yeah, uh, I know. Everyone's right? like, all these transplants. Yeah, you're like, give me the original, the OGs, That's right? Right. One other girl we met was she our other two toe. This is beautiful. So this is similar to the red one up front, mm -hmm. but we did it in the orange again with the pink. Mm -hmm. This has actually been quite a popular color for us. Which yeah, this is gorgeous. Which you know, orange is kind of polarizing too, so yes. people kind of love it. They love it, or but and I feel like it's not a common color in a coat though. No. You no. always see like a red, maybe a pink. Oh, definitely pink. Yeah, like you don't get the red. orange. So yeah, yeah, that's unique. Yeah. So those are them. James, I'm the digital beauty director for Elle, and we are here, <laughs> and we are here for fashioning a more size-inclusive New York Fashion Week. I'm so excited for our panel that we have here today. Just a lot of great individuals. And I'm never going to be thin enough. I'm never going to be fat enough. I'm never going to have the perfect um, body to represent everybody. But I'm not. I've never sought after that. I was just here to work as a team to ch change an industry, not even knowing that the industry was going to change. So um, my hope truly is that, to the, a testament to everything that we've all been speaking on, is that we don't have to talk about our bodies. That we can just say, that's a beautiful dress, that is a beautiful, whatever it is, and it's not having to be talked about who's in it, what kind of body, what is the shape, and it's just a conversation around fashion, something that we love so dearly. Something that the five of us are up here because we not only want to see change, but because we just freaking love fashion. And we just want to be represented without having to discuss the things that have been deemed not luxurious or not beautiful. Because that's not the case at all. Um, and I'm just, I'm excited for what's to come. I think that there has been leaps and bounds that have changed in this industry. I've been with Mina for 10 years. And we have changed so many things. We've done a lot of incredible things. Gab and I did my first American Vogue cover together. And I was in custom Prada. Or <laughs> And like, Sarah, we've known each other since you started as well. Like, there is, there's so many things that we have seen that have changed to the core of what you would think of as plus size fashion. Yet it sucks watching from this side because you think nothing is changing when you don't see us on the runway, when you feel the tokenism, when you feel that the designers are pushing us out. But I always remind myself because I'm a very, the glass is half full kind of girl, that there is so much that has already changed and we really need to focus on that. And then what are we doing as a collective to keep pushing forward for the next 10 years?
not spoken to you guys. I've just been on the go. So I just finished the um, size inclusivity panel with uh, Sarah, what's her name? Sarah, what's the model name? Ashley Graham. Um, and then it turned into a little party. So I did a little party. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little party in and now I'm headed home. It got hot in there. And I was just like, I'm starting to get my shine on. I'm good on that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just waiting for my Uber, y'all. And uh, I'm going to try to check in with you guys tomorrow. I think I have some downtime earlier in the day. So I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Well, hello, guys. We are on day three of Fashion Week. Uh, today, I have one show, but I'm also meeting with... Um, a new photographer to take some shots because my girl Maya went away for the weekend. So I'm gonna meet up with the guy first and then um, hopefully I make it into this show. Today I'm actually wearing a little LB. It's the houndstooth suit that I showed you guys before in the haul. Um, I'm wearing that with my, um, my leather gloves. And um, I'm wearing the koi earrings because the buttons in this are gold. And I'm also wearing my flower pen. Um, you guys know how much I love this. And I just feel like it just really takes uh, the look up a notch. You know what I mean? So that is today's ensemble. And um, I will chat with you guys later. I just want to make it there on time. Y'all, also, I almost fell. I kind of low-key did, but I caught myself. So I got to say a little prayer for the Lord to strengthen my ankles <laughs> and my uh, shoe straps and heels so that we don't do that in front of the show. So I'm going to take my time. I think I was walking too confident when I stepped out. I was feeling too saucy. <laughs> and the Lord said, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Anyway, so I'll chat with you guys later. All right, bye. So I ran into Sarah, guys. We always run into each other during yeah, Fashion do. Week, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I know, right? She's it's so been pretty like, herself. Thank like, you. It's been like a decade of us running into each other. A uh, whole decade. <laughs> Listen, when I tell you, they used to literally be like no real plus representation yeah. as fashion editors and writers. So now, <laughs> it's always under my eyes for me. I'm always like. I follow her on Instagram. She is so fly. Y'all, yes. this outfit is fire. No, we're trying to give it to the girl. We give it. We give it. Okay. You said the dress is from a firm, right? Yes, the dress is from a firm. The jacket is from ASOS. The heels are from Public Desire. They're not from <laughs> And the glasses? Um, the glasses are from Fashion Nova, actually. Oh, so, okay. You know, you put a little something together. When I tell <laughs> you, the Kirby girls come through. Yes. Every year. Amen. Okay. <laughs> we hope to see you next season. Yes. <laughs> Guys, you know I ran into one of my faves, Princess. You know I like love her. Oh, She's so love fly. You. I love her. She's so fly. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> So I just took pictures of her, so I'm gonna include it in the vlog so you guys can see. But uh, we're gonna go get summer, but she looks so good. And wait, where are you from again? Ohio. Ohio, okay. So she, I love that she comes to Fashion Week now. <laughs> Gotta represent. Represent for the curvy girls. <laughs> So today I'm headed to meet up with my photographer. Um, I'm shooting actually with someone new today because my girl, Maya, she is away. Uh, so I was unable to shoot with her in advance. 
so uh, I'm actually meeting with a photographer I met at actually like maybe four years ago and um, we kind of just always like not always kept in touch but you know on social media you know you like a post here and there and things so he said he was going to be here for fashion week and he was like hey like if you want to do any shots like i'm here and i was like okay cool perfect and see when god works things out for you because i was like oh man maya's away so i didn't want to like shoot later the outfits for that i'm wearing for fashion week so I was just so happy that he was available so I could like get the outfits out during fashion week. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm meeting this morning. I'm hopefully I can make it on time. I'm hoping I can make it on time. You ever talk sometimes and you realize you're not saying complete sentences? <laughs> or you're not saying the whole word the whole word, you're like cutting words off. Anyway, I put on my little strip to keep my edges down. Um, it's definitely time to take this hair out because I feel like it's dying. <laughs> I mean, the hair's not dying. Like, I'm due for another wash and curl. But anywho, um, so this is the coat that I got from ASOS. If you guys haven't watched my coat haul, you should have. That was like the lowest views I ever got on any coat haul. I'm like, what is going on? But I did think, I said, you kind of put it up towards the end of winter. <laughs> so nobody's really looking for coats right now but anyway this is from asos curve i love it um and i'm wearing it with the purple patent leather boots that i got uh from what did i get this from vince comito the over the knee boots so i thought that would look really cute and then i just have on this dress from um what's this from rev dolls so it has like the purple in here the light pink so i'm kind of really playing around with a uh, a lot of colors today but anyway, this should be a fun shoe. Now he shoots different. So he likes more of a, I want to say like a darker vibe. So my photos this time are probably going to have more of like a, a darker vibe to them. And you know, sometimes I feel like it's always good to switch it up. Because I'm normally like giving you all the bright light. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot to put lipstick on. Let me put it on. Anyway, and then I have two shows today. So I have a show at six, a show at seven. So when I go back home, I'm gonna eat some breakfast. I'll probably take a little nap. <laughs> I'm gonna cook dinner before I leave because since it's been fashion week, my family has been eating out literally like every night. So something quick and easy so that they don't have to order out. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to check in and I will chat with you guys later.
so we made it in time it's a little line outside um so i'm gonna well i went and checked in so i was able to get a seat yay <laughs> of course i gotta pee i swear i have to pee every two seconds now so um yeah i was trying to keep my hair from sticking up who tried to tell you this not your hair i don't know y'all this ain't for me <laughs> but anyway so i'm excited to see what the show looks like you know <laughs> all right guys so we made it inside i get to sit next to summer Well, all right, guys. So that is the end of fashion week for me. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. Please, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, share it. Make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Remember to follow Stylish Curves on Instagram. And I will always have links in the description box for everything that I wore in today's vlog that is still available. Thank you again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.